this is Bobby from the Vespasian Warner Public Library, and I'm here with another tale from the archive where we talk about documents and objects in our local history collection. Today we're going to be talking about some local artists. You might not know, but DeWitt County has a lot of wonderful artists who work in various media. For many years, there was actually an organization in the community called Artists Alley, and they did a variety of shows. This is a great one from 1988 that was up on the square. They did shows here at the library as well, just to showcase the talent that we have in our community. This painting in our collection was done by Helen High, who was a member of that artist's community, and she was a patron here for many years, and I just love her style. And we rotate out what we have hanging up. This one's not currently hanging up, but it'll be hanging up again soon. But we don't just have paintings here at the library. Over here we have a quilt that was made by Shirley Monkman for Melinda Evans. Melinda was a director here at the library from 1973 to 2000, and Shirley made that for Melinda upon her retirement. And it's really great details in there on the book. She's written out significant dates in Melinda's career, as well as a book that just says Melinda Evans Retirement 2000. Some of our more unique items include this egg. This was made by Linda Moore. She was, even in her, her obituary, called the Egg Lady. She did several shows here at the library around Easter with her beautifully decorated eggs. She would decorate the outsides, but also usually put a scene on the insides, everything from tiny sparrows eggs to emu eggs. And this item is one of the fairy doors that was created by our own David Ward. He was the maintenance supervisor here for many years. So when the library is open again, I would encourage you to go through the building and see if you can find his hidden fairy doors. Thank you for joining me from this tale from the archive, and I hope to see you too.